Hi, my name is Evan Clemens. I'm a transplant pharmacist at the University of Washington Medical Center, and I'm here to present Transplant Medications, a class for you to become familiar with the medications you'll take after organ transplant. This video is for future heart, liver, kidney, or lung transplant patients at the University of Washington Medical Center. We want you to learn this information because medications after transplant are quite important. We'll teach you about the different classes of medication and why we prescribe them to our patients who have received organ transplants. So let's get started. This is part one of a three-part series on transplant medications. In this part, we will review general concepts of transplant medications. After viewing this recording, please watch parts two and three, where we talk about each medication in depth and also discuss insurance coverage of these medications. The types of medications you may be given are to help prevent rejection, prevent infections, control blood pressure, keep your bones strong, and support your overall health and nutrition. It's important that you take your medications exactly as prescribed and let us know if you're having any problems or side effects of your medications. The first class of medications are the immunosuppressants, also known as anti-rejection medication. Now, your immune system is usually a good thing. It's a system in your body that protects you against bacteria, viruses, and fungi. The problem with organ transplant is that your body's immune system will see this new organ as something harmful. Your body will try to protect you from the organ the same way it would with infections. Thus, you'll need to take several new medications to weaken your immune system. This will help to stop your immune system from attacking or rejecting the new organ. Unfortunately, your immune system will never just get used to this new organ, and the medications only work as long as you're taking them. So you'll have to take these medications for the rest of your life to preserve organ function. How long will I need to take them? If you stop taking your medication, rejection will occur quickly. This can happen even if you only miss a few doses. We can never 100% guarantee that the medication will prevent rejection, but we do know that if you take your medications at the right dose at the right time, the risk of rejection is much lower. The biggest risk for rejection is in the first year after surgery, but it can happen at any time. And you'll have frequent blood tests to help us uh, watch for symptoms of rejection. Our goal is to catch any rejection as early as possible so we can give you medication to stop it before your transplant organ is permanently damaged. This means that your blood tests and clinic visits are just as important as taking your medications every day. Before you come to the hospital, gather all the items below and bring them with you. We'll call you to let you know when it's time to come in for your transplant surgery. Your surgery time can be unpredictable, so be ready. These are some of the things you need to bring. Bring all your medications, including prescriptions and over-the-counter medications, vitamins, and supplements. Bring any patient education materials you've received from the transplant team. Bring all your medical insurance and pharmacy insurance cards. Now, while you're in the hospital for a transplant, you'll start immunosuppressant medications. The transplant pharmacist will meet with you and your caregiver few days before your discharge from the hospital. We'll explain your new medications in detail and give you a new pill box to organize your medications. You'll also get a supply of medications to take home and we'll help you practice filling the pill box before you leave. This is an example of a transplant medication list. This list might be three or more pages long. The medication list is organized with columns across the top to show you what time of day to take each medication. The picture shows an example of a medication box with slots for medications. You may take these up to four times per day. On discharge day, your medications will be filled at our hospital pharmacy and delivered to your room. You can keep your prescriptions at the UW pharmacy or we can help you transfer them to a local pharmacy. Think about what would be most convenient for you or if your insurance might require you to use a certain pharmacy. You will need to request refills of your medications from your pharmacy before you run out. Next, let's discuss some general medication tips. These are good rules to follow even now while you wait for your transplant. First, some tips to help you remember to take your pills. Please always keep a list of your current medications with you. You can prevent missing doses by carrying a 24-hour supply of medication with you at all times, just in case you aren't home when it's time to take them. Use phone alarms 
to help you remember to take your medications. The smartphone can be a useful tool to help you remember your pills. Use it to take a photo of your medication list or a photo of your pill bottles. Also, you can set alarms on your phone when it's time to take your pills. The next rule is you should only take medications prescribed or approved by your doctor. Please don't take over-the-counter medications, herbal remedies, or dietary supplements without first checking with your doctor. Never run out of your medications. Please refill them on time before you run out. Learn about the names and doses of your medications. Understand why you're taking them. Understand the possible side effects of your medications and report them to the doctor. Don't stop taking your medication before discussing these side effects with a medical professional. In many cases, we can help you manage the side effects so that you can stay on your transplant drugs. Contact us if you miss a dose or have any issues filling your prescription. If you accidentally miss a dose, do not double up. Instead, make sure you communicate with us so that we can help you get back on track. Lastly, ensure all healthcare providers that you encounter know that you've had a transplant. They'll need to know that information to give you the best care possible This is the end of part one of the three-part education series we have recorded for you. Please take some time to think about this information, and when you're ready, watch part two, which is a detailed look at each of the most common medications that transplant patients take. Thanks for your attention today, and I hope you have a good rest of your day.